Okay, it looks like we are live. I'm having some trouble again here. Trying to link the drone going to the controller, the iPad, tethered to my phone to get to the internet here. I think we got a good connection. I did this a few minutes ago with another battery and apparently it never went out. It, I can't find it. I don't know. So let's try this again here. About 30 seconds into this. Let's see if we can actually get this out there. I apologize if the description is wrong. I, I'm having some, some trouble here, but let's just go up. So if you're on, we are out doing a set of condos out here. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Show you what we got going on real quick. Clear these power lines. So we've got a small condo association here that we are tearing off into right here on this southern building. The guys got here before me, they started tearing off. I had to wait for the fog to burn off to get this out, so I was out getting a couple uh, measurements and uh, estimates worked in. So they got one unit already tore off, tearing off the uh, back and drop sections of the center unit. We're just moving the dump trailer down as we go. The plan is to get this whole building tore off, cleaned up, dried in, loaded, and roofed out today. We'll see it's uh, about 85 square, 80, 85 square, somewhere in that area with waste and all. <laughs> And then tomorrow, if we don't finish something, we'll get it done as well as that section of garage right there off the alley. It's about 40 square. And then next week, we'll start hitting this side on the west and then finish up on the north over there. That far northern one's got some skylights that we have to fix and replace. This is all because of a storm that came through, put some good hail down and damaged these roofs. So we worked with the insurance company to inspect it get their adjuster out check it out and uh, even though those two further back are brand new two to four years old insurance uh, approved a whole new replacement of everything and that's why we got to kind of wait on that far north one is the skylights we've got to order skylight flashing kits in for these all the b-vent flue pipe caps are all getting replaced as well we are moving all these box vents on these two older sections removing them putting in ridge vent Actually, you know, let me come on down over here. I'm gonna drop on down. So we got synthetic paper put down, ice and water put down. The box vents have already been removed on this one I'm coming down on. Got the center ridge opened up for ventilation. Ice and water down the walls. We'll be putting all new aluminum flashing in everywhere. This thing needs to drop down pretty quick here. All right, looks like David, thank you. I see a little emoji. I'm not sure if this was getting out live or not. I've been having some technical difficulties with it. All right, so we got some ice and water up under the wall there. All new flash gonna be going in. Ridge vent is already opened up on this section. So these other sections here that have uh, little bitty holes cut in on this backside, you can see, we're gonna completely remove those, open up the top center ridge for ridge vent and just hopscotch all the way down over here. All right down here, get those removed. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to bring the drone right down on this B vent here, this cap. Try to get some light right on it. I don't want to fly into it. I'm just right behind the ridge here. It's just going to be whited out. It's too bright, but it's all beat up. If you put a piece of chalk over that and you see dings on there, that's a good sign of hail damage. Same with the box vents. And then, of course, the shingles were damaged as well. That's why all this is going to be covered by insurance. Manufacturers are not on the hook. It's actually avoids the manufacturer warranty if there's been hail damage. So it's important if you think you've been hit by hail, uh, Contact a qualified roofing contractor to come out and inspect your roof. Usually they'll do all this for free. They'll work with your insurance company and give us a call. We'll, we'd be glad to if you're in our area, our market here in central Indiana, and get all your roofing approved to get new. And uh, Butch Lock, sorry. Pardon me here. Hey, Butch, how are you doing? Oh, not doing bad. Hey, you're not uh, online by chance, are you? Yeah, I wasn't sure if that's why you're calling. I'm trying to do a live shot on the YouTube channel, and it looks like it's getting out there, so.
Oh, well, thank you. If you're on uh, YouTube, go check out the live stream. I might got the drone up right now. I got uh, about 50% battery power left, so you want to check it out. Just search Grand Riffing Inc. on YouTube, and it should pop up and notify you or show you a uh, live stream. It looks like it's out. Okay. All righty, thank you. You have a good day. All right, bye. It looks like I'm still getting a few technical difficulties by my phone being bogged down with the laptop and the iPad and notifications and apps running. Uh, the screen on the laptop just showed a uh, not enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Hopefully it's still going. If anyone's still on and watching live, give me a quick shout if you could, please. I'd like to get this figured out so I don't have any technical difficulties. So when you have cool stuff or good shots, a good scenic, whatever, I can do some live streaming. These guys are making short work of that center unit there. That's about the size of three normal standard size homes right there coming down. Let's just do a real quick, uh, put that in sport mode. Buzz on down over here real quick. This is being shot from a DJI Spark drone. So hopefully the uh, live streaming is kind of smooth for you guys. It says I'm getting out 30 frames a second, so... We got to... Uh, these are the five skylights we got to replace, so we got to get the flashing kits in on. I'd like to give a quick shout out to ABC Supply Co. for working with us and getting all this brought up pretty quick and promptly. And uh, Malarkey, excellent roofing products. The only ones in the industry that have their whole line with a SBS polymer modified shingle, which is a much cleaner manufacturing process and holds up better to uh, the elements, hail specifically. Okay. Hey, Dave, did it cut out by chance at all? Just kind of curious. Looks like there's a bit of a latency between the iPad, what it's capturing, and making it back onto my laptop. Head back over to here. Battery's getting down there a little bit. I'll have to end this here in a few minutes and uh, slap it on a charge, throw the other one on. There is some other stuff I've got to get to here soon. We're going to have to dump that trailer. This is about 80 square, like I said, coming off. I'll have to get that dumped out so we can continue tearing. Okay, thank you, Dave. Didn't see it cut out. Appreciate it. Um, if you could do one other thing for me, check the description and see what the description says. I could not edit the description from the first live video two days ago. That was horribly cut out bad. And also the audio. Is the audio coming in pretty good? Yeah, it looks like I'm seeing probably a 5 to 10 second delay. Once we get the roofing all done here, they've got another contractor coming in behind us to do all the gutters. So we're still taking care of the gutter by putting that sheet over it. Try to keep the scraping down to a minimum. That way they keep working as needed until the gutter contractor gets in here which might be a few weeks a lot of contractors are booked up backed up right now this time of year trying to get everything done before the snow flies okay thanks for the update on that description there dave All right, well, I appreciate y'all watching. And if you watch in the future, I gotta bring this down, get it landed, throw it on a charge, and get that trailer ready to head in before we go overweight on it. That uh, 
Might try to do some more live shots on this project we have going on here. If you guys are interested, check it out. And as always, if you have any ideas for any how-to videos, let me know in any of the videos. Comment. I'll get back to you and comment back myself and try to get some more how-to stuff out there for you guys. Thanks for watching.